Hello, my name is Silva and I'm responsible for technical support for SAC. Today I'm going to show you how to use the KB programming console and in the process I'll also show you how to set the parameters for the UPS drive and how to set the parameters for a geared machine. Let's start by explaining the button functions on the console. On the left side is the enter button which is used for confirming modified parameters and switching between parameter set and parameter number. On the right side is the function button, which is used for opening the desired parameter. Button up and button down are used for menu navigation and for parameter changing. Now that we know the button functions, let's unlock the lift parameters by setting LB1 to 11. First, press function to determine your current position in the menu. Our current position is LI1 and now we have to press enter to switch from parameter number to parameter set. This is also visualized with the small LED on the display. Now move up to LB1 and press enter to switch from parameter set to parameter number. Now press up to change the parameter number to 1 and then open LB1 with button function. After that you will see USRO which means that we can only read parameters. Now move to 11 with the up button and confirm with enter. When the display shows US on you have successfully unlocked all parameters. Now that we unlock the parameters, we can adjust parameter LD20, which is used for UPS drive. For the gearless drives, you need to set the parameter to 80% of LD10. Our LD10 is 65. So right now we need to decrease LD20. After that, test the system and if, the, if you get an EEF error, increase LD20 by 15 and if the UPS overloads, decrease LD20 by 50. Do this until you get a comfortable UPS drive. If you have a geared motor, you will have to program all, all of the motor parameter settings with starting with LD1 and ending with LD8. Always make sure that LD2 is less than 1500. Thank you for being with me and SEC team.